This will be our secret. When I'm doing tedious work like hours of benchmarking, I like to catch up on my reading list, and I'm able to do that with Audible Plus. Audible Plus offers access to thousands of best selling audiobooks, Audible Originals, and even podcasts. As an Audible Premium Plus member, this month I selected Star Wars Thrawn Ascendancy by Timothy Zahn as one of my two monthly free bonus titles to keep. For more information about Audible Plus or to get your free trial, click the link in the description below. Hey guys, welcome to Elevated Systems. I'm your host, CJ. Remember a while ago there were rumors of a Windows 10X and then there were leaks of Windows 10X and it was basically just Windows 10 with a style up update. But then last month, Microsoft officially squashed Windows 10X only to have it leak out again this week. Only this time it has a different logo and it's called Windows 11. And I have a copy installed on this test bench. So let's fire it up the jank homemade test bench way. Now, I'm not gonna show you where to get this or how to install it, cause you can just Google that, but I will tell you that it's installed and running on the bare metal system, not running in a virtual machine. I understand some people have had issues installing Windows 11, but it just takes a couple tweaks in the UEFI settings, enabling TPM and secure boot in the security settings as necessary for Windows 11 to install. I'm not sure if that'll carry over into the official version. And that is what it looks like. There it is. Now, I'm not gonna go into all the visual changes and the new features, there are already a bunch of videos and articles covering that. I just want to find the answer to the most important question. Does Windows 11 even game, bro? Because one of the biggest issues with new releases of Windows versions in the past is not that the operating system was well necessarily broken. It's that the drivers and other software needed to effectively run games on the OS were not immediately compatible with the new OS. So today I'm going to run a bunch of gaming benchmarks on this test system using first the latest version of Windows 10 and then with this version of Windows 11 and see how they compare or if there's a difference at all. Now this is a leaked unofficial version of Windows 11 so testing gaming performance can have a couple of possible significant downsides. First. The release could be closer to the current version of Windows 10 and farther from the eventual release of Windows 11, which would mean we won't see a difference in benchmarks, which may be present in the official Windows 11 release, or this version is so incomplete, we won't be able to game at all. So first things first, the test bench I'm using is a Ryzen 7 3700X paired with an EVGA RTX 2080 Ti, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3600 MHz memory on an ASUS X570 Prime motherboard. Windows 10 is a clean install of the latest update of version 21H1 and Windows 11 is build 21996 and I'm using the latest NVIDIA game ready driver version 466.77, which is the first good news. All the drivers and software, Steam, Epic's Game Launcher, Battle.net, MSI Afterburner, all installed. And here's Steam running and I can even play games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and hopefully it works. Well, it looks like it's working, but it wasn't a perfect gaming experience. While some things work great, some things just don't work. I'll get into that, but let's just roll into the benchmarks I was able to compile, starting with our synthetic benchmarks. We see that technically Windows 11 does have a lead in everything except Firestrike, However, the only statistically relevant result is in TimeSpy, and that's less than a 2% difference in scores. Moving on to actual gaming benchmarks, starting at 1080p at Ultra or the highest presets for each game, again, Windows 11 does just pull ahead in everything except Borderlands 3. Again, all these results are within the margin of error, and ultimately, Windows 11 
only wins by a single frame on average. Looking at 1440p and the results are well identical. Everything is within the margin of error and this time Windows 11 squeaks out the victory by just 3 FPS on average. So do these results actually tell us anything and why beside the synthetics were there just 4 games benchmarked? Well, to the first point, I think the results tell me that this Windows 11 build is essentially Windows 10 in a different suit. In fact, the 3D Mark results were marked as valid because 3D Mark recognized Windows 11 as Windows 10. And although yes, the results are all within the margin of error, I think Windows 11's victory is valid, which is most likely due to its stripped down version. It was definitely running fewer processes than its Win 10 competitor. The system had less things to manage and could allocate just a bit more system resources to the games. So why did I only test four games? Well, first, once I started to see how close the results were, I was pretty sure everything I tested would be the same. I could literally go through dozens of games before I might possibly find a significant difference. But the main reason I didn't benchmark more is I couldn't. Only games from my Steam library would launch. Let's check this out. Okay, so I have control here in my Epic's game launcher. So let's go ahead and try to launch that. And you can see, I discovered that the Windows Legacy Net Framework 3.5 and below aren't present. When I try to install it, it fails. I actually tried to activate it in Windows Features. It failed. I downloaded the installation package directly from Microsoft's website. It failed to install. I even tried to install it through an elevated terminal from the installation media and discovered it wasn't present on the source. So the only thing I didn't try yet was mounting a Windows 10 installation media source and forcing the update from an elevated terminal using that as the source. I don't even know if that would work, but ultimately it really doesn't matter because this is just an unofficial leak of an operating system that technically hasn't even been announced yet. So as of right now, worst case scenario for gaming on Windows 11 is it's the same as gaming on Windows 10. I'm sure if and when the official beta is released, hopefully next week, the net framework issue will be resolved unless Microsoft just decides not to support legacy framework anymore, which would mean developers have to update their code to include the latest framework. I think 4.8 is where we're at right now. I don't think that'll be the case, but it could be. With the secure boot and TPM2 requirements, it does look like Microsoft is trying to better secure their OS. In any case, when the public beta version is released, I'll follow up with more gaming performance and see if there are any changes and let you know if it's worth upgrading your gaming rig with Windows 11. Make sure you get subscribed to catch that. If you have any questions, be sure to ask because I think that's it for this one. Pretty simple. As always, be sure to hit that like and if you have any questions, be sure to ask. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe.